Refrigerant analyzers. So I just got a question today. Uh, I can't remember if it was a subscriber or just somebody asking me a question. What refrigerant identifier do I re recommend? I have three different refrigerant refrigerant identifiers, three diff, diff, um, generations uh, from Neutronics. So I recommend Neutronics. I've been using them all the way back to the days when I, the first Yokogawa, I think it was the 800 back in the early 1990s, and the company got bought out and eventually became uh, Neutronics. And so for the last two generations, I had Neutron, uh, Neutronics. It was Bacharach before that. And so this is uh, the question I got today for commercial refrigeration, for commercial refrigerants, what model? Because they have different models. They're all in the same chassis, but they have different model numbers for different gases. So for the commercial, like residential and commercial gases, this is the model that is specifically designed for commercial gases. So let's go over the specifications for this. Now I initially got mine back in, you know, years ago for R22. When we were phasing out R22, we were getting a lot of contaminated R22 and that's what made me buy mine for the commercial. For automotive, my original automotive one was back in the days of R12 and we were just changing from R12 to R134 and I bought a refrigerant back identifier back in about 1992 that was my very first one and there were a little over three thousand dollars back then so back in 1992 three thousand dollars was a lot of money now today three thousand dollars you sneeze and it's gone um let's see refrigerants for commercial application here we go so as you can see here r22 r32 r134 r404 R407C, R410. Now those are the most common refrigerants that we use. I still see a bit of R22. I do tons of R134. Uh, 404 is not unless I'm going in refrigeration or something. Uh, a freezer truck, uh, one of those will carry meat and stuff like that. I don't see a bunch of this, but you guys who do uh, walk-ins and stuff like that see that. Uh, 410, I see tons of 410 in R410 for my residential. Uh, other identified refrigerants, R12, I still see get R12. YF, I do a ton of YF. YF is the majority of my refrigerant that I do in my automotive business is the R123 YF refrigerant. 408, 409, 417, 421, 21A, B, 22A, 22B, 22C and 427A in hydrocarbons. So this one analyzer right here is the analyzer you would get if you're in residential and commercial HVAC. And um, value test, you can see they're not cheap, uh, but refrigerant is so expensive now, that is no longer expensive anymore. To save you from contaminating your refrigerant a jug or a few jugs of refrigerants. That's only the price of a few jugs of refrigerants. So it's really not that bad. Um, and here's the automotive ones. As you can see, these ones are for the YF and 134. And they'll tell you 22 too. They're also, I have one of these ones too. And I have one of the older model ones, which is the wide one. So for the person who asked me that question, I think you were asking me for residential or commercial and this is the model number that you would get for doing commercial you wouldn't get an automotive one because you have to differentiate so go to neutronics find their company when website and do your research get your part number and you have the option you could get one with a printer mine has a printer uh, i think that's a 200 dollar extra option to get the printer in it and uh this is what you'd be getting all right guys i'll see you